Hi guys, thanks for watching this week's edition of Why Wednesday. I'm excited, I get to introduce you to another awesome human here in Des Moines, impacting our community, and you need to know her. So I'll just let her introduce herself and kind of what she's doing in the community. First of all, do you see, ever watch the um, Humans in New York, yes, the I videos do. in the book? Yes. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. <laughs> you should write a Humans in Des Moines book. Perfect. <laughs> That's my next endeavor. Exactly. Hey, you guys. Uh, my name is Trisha Rivas. I'm the owner of Trixie's Salon. We have three locations here in Des Moines, and we're at our Altoona location this morning. And I'm also the founder of the uh, Dreamcatchers Foundation here in Des Moines, and we provide free complimentary services, hair services, um, massage and facials to terminally and chronically ill men, women, and children in the um, Des Moines metro area. And then we also provide uh, services for their caregivers. See, that's amazing. And so, fun fact: I've known Trisha very early in my networking. Oh days. gosh, yes, yes. This was yeah, like yeah. three years, mm -hmm. uh, or mm -hmm. maybe, maybe two and a half years now. And it was a Dreamcatcher thing at Capture Market. Yes, 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 yes. And yeah, just fell in love with what she was doing. So, oh, thank you. Two and a half thank years. Thank two and a half years, and we're, and we're still friends. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, we are, we are, and then we like to get together and talk about your old college days and your your college clothing and jerseys and uh, yeah, all, all that stuff too. All of the things that I used to do. <laughs> uh, so that's the okay. So Dreamcatcher is yeah. phenomenal. You need to know more about it. Mm -hmm. uh, some of you definitely need some hairstyling. Yeah. I know a person, uh, <laughs> but ideal client or or kind of and, I, and I, we've talked a little bit before. Yeah. is that. Uh, I call you and I go, Trisha, here's my situation, or maybe here's something I'm trying to accomplish, or I have a friend that's here, or maybe that's from either of your perspectives of what you're doing. Yeah. And as they're talking, you go, honey, we can help you. Mm -hmm. like, and you get kind of excited because you're already mm -hmm. starting to imagine the impacts. Yeah. So like, who are those people or people you're trying to reach when we're talking about the nonprofit world? Yeah. So as far as with the nonprofit world, uh, you know, there are still a lot of people that don't um, know what we do at Dreamcatchers. So that's actually something that we're working on this year is a whole different, um, our branding ourselves, telling our story, uh, marketing. We need to do be doing a much better job of that. But our ideal client would be someone that needs extra care and extra love that um, does not have the capacity to get to the salon. Um, more likely they're homebound or they are in hospice. And so we go to them with Iowa law when people are homebound, there, um, uh, there are rules that we have to follow too. So, you know, definitely uh, making sure that they are homebound because if they can get into the salon, we do prefer that also because it is a whole different experience. You know, they can sit back in the shampoo bowl, we can shampoo their hair. Um, it's a whole salon service. But unfortunately, um, with the patients that we're taking care of with dream catchers, there is not that option. So uh, hospice, we work closely with the Children's Cancer Connection. So we go up twice a year and we do uh, the camps up there as the glam, scam, uh, the glam squad is what is what they call us. So we do hair, makeup, nails, uh, we do tattoos. Oh my goodness, they love the, the hair paint. That's their most favorite. Mm -hmm. And then um, once a month we go to Link Children's Hospital and we provide uh, services in that way also. So we do manicures. Um, Barry Lowe is one of our massage therapists and he's usually there every month doing um, foot massage, which everybody just talks highly of him. And uh, so we do that for the patients and then also for, uh, for the parents. So yeah, I have to tell you that is I, I love being a hairdresser and, and I love being able to have my gifts to provide something back to the world that makes people feel good. I mean, sincerely, how awesome do you feel when you go to the salon, whether it is to have a haircut or a facial or a massage, you just feel like a whole completely different person. And I, I often say that being a hairdresser is the, is the best job in the world because it really is. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah. So that's awesome and I can't say enough good things like so but but you're not just hairstylists if, if I'm correct yes you're correct. trying so it's not just mm -hmm. if you are a hairstylist there's yes. other professions that you're trying to partner with oh my goodness yes we love working with other salons okay. 
with other massage therapists and you don't have to be a licensed volunteer and what I mean by that is have a cosmetology license a massage license we have many other areas of opportunity for non-licensed volunteers to help us with marketing social media um, making treats for when we go to um, uh, Blank Children's Hospital uh, uh, one sweet quick uh, kitchen and cha-cha's confections um, have just been absolute dears and had brought up treats for um, for us and for the patients at Blank Children's Hospital. So it's truly about a community, a community, as you know, and I know with you too, how important that is for us. Well, that, that's amazing. So glad that you get to hear part of that story. Yeah. So now let's hear part of Why Wednesday. What's that? It's It gets cold here in Iowa. So Monday morning, it's dead of winter. It's like that negative 80 degree thing we had last January. Uh -huh. And it's like, I don't want to get out of bed. Yeah. But here's the impact I get. What's yeah. that driving force for you? Yeah. The driving force, first of all, is my staff. It sincerely is. Um, I love being a leader and having an impact on them. And trust me, I am constantly learning. And I am far from doing it perfect most days, but I love to be able to have the opportunity to um, to be a part of their lives. Again, it's not just um, a culture of hairstylists. We're trying to have a culture of phenomenal humans. And I mean, that is truly something that sets us apart at Trixie's. That sincerely is what gets me up in the morning. And I love Monday mornings, actually. <laughs> On me I do, I do, because it's like a fresh start, yes. a fresh start for the week, and a whole different perspective. No, don't get me wrong, I'm always on Pinterest looking for fun little quotes and motivation, but um, along with the staff, it's definitely, it's definitely our guests, and getting up, and everybody has a different story. Every 45 minutes, I get to have an impact on someone different, and hear their story, and uh, it's... Sincerely, it's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Yeah, and I, I'd even probably go a step further, and I think you'd agree with me, is that, yes, for four or five minutes, you get to have an impact. Yeah. But for four or five minutes, those people also have an impact. Oh, gosh, so, you know, yes. That, oh, so my it, goodness. Yes. Oh, so much, so much. And, and we talk about that all the time, too, is that um, it's a relationship. It is truly a relationship. And I can't really say, other than maybe your therapist and doctor, <laughs> and maybe not even that, what type of relationship do you have with someone in that type of position, but other than your hairstylist? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mine too. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. I said I need to write a book, which I do want to write a book someday about like stuff people say yeah. behind the chairs and stories. And I'll talk to my guests about it sometimes, and they'll be like, "Oh my God, you're not going to use names, are you?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I promise I won't use names." <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, perfect. So lastly, people are watching. Mm -hmm. One piece of advice. It can be personal, professional. We were chatting before. This could be something you wish you would have learned earlier. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, hey, if, my, if I pass this on to my kids, mm -hmm. I parented well. <laughs> yes. You know, I laugh because on Mother's Day, both of my boys had did just this beautiful post on Facebook. And they talked about how I have taught them, along with my husband too, to never give up. And when life knocks you down, okay, Sit down for a minute, sit down for a minute, take a break, um, cry, do whatever it is that you have to, give your time that moment, but then get right back up, get right back up. And I also talk about how I don't wanna be on my deathbed and think, oh goodness, I wish I would have done this, but I didn't do it because I was fearful. I, I just, I don't live my life like that. And um, so those would probably be the, the two best of advice. Don't give up, and if you have a dream, to follow it. Well, that's amazing. So hopefully you're inspired. If you don't know Trisha, get to know her. <laughs> oh, thanks, you, you'll walk away inspired all the time. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. If you are uh, a massage therapist, a hairstylist, and find out more about Dreamcatchers. Yes, please. Uh, if you have people that are in that hospice stage, mm -hmm. find out about Dreamcatchers. Mm -hmm. uh, and also just come and get your hair did. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> thank you so uh, much for having me. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> thank right. you. Bye.